Hi, everybody. Welcome to the Josh and Tamara Show. I'm Tamara. And I'm your father. He's my father. I <laughs> get it? No, I get it. All right. So, Halloween episode <laughs> of the Josh and Tamara Show. Thanks for watching. I'm Josh. And I'm Tamara. Oh, she said that I just already. said that. Um, we got a really special episode yes. for you this evening. We have a Halloween candy review with Tina, Marie, and Vinny. Check it. We Check also have it. a special correspondent joining us on Monkey News Source. And we're going to be talking about top stories. So, thanks for joining us. You watch the Josh Tamara Show. It is I, Optimus Prime, with tonight's monkey news source. I say, Optimus Prime. <laughs> That's my Halloween costume. Do you like that? That is a great voice. Did you think for you a second you were sitting? You should do some voiceovers. I know. Did you think for a second you were sitting next to an actual robot? I thought you were a robot. Happy Halloween, everyone <laughs> Happy out there. Happy Halloween. I will do the whole news I like Optimus Prime. I am kind of like Freddy Krueger-esque. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. it. That's what yeah. I was wondering what that ensemble is. Yeah, Fred that's, Freddy I was trying to do like, you know, modern Freddy Krueger. If I saw you in my dreams... I would not be that scared. Yeah, that'd be watch out. I'd watch be out. stoked. I'd be watch like, out. yo, what's up with you? My dream. <laughs> All right, what's up? Monkey News Source. Here we go. I'm Gordon Goodall. And I'm Tamara. Happy Halloween, everybody. Yes, we have a lot of great top stories for you today. We do. And we have a special correspondent coming right up in just a few minutes. Yes. But first, let's get right to the news. Today's top story. Top story number one. Top Tamara, story number one is Donald Trump Jr. will run for president in 2024. What? Can you believe that? What? Newsflash. What? Donald Trump, again, what? Jr., Jr., what? will run for president I'm sorry, can in we 2024. Can we get a fact checker on? Are you serious? Are you kidding me? Hang on. i got to make some calls. Yes. Hello, U.S. government. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Damn it! you got to be kidding me. Who does this guy think he is, Kennedy? He thinks he's like Bush because Bush had his... <sighs> guy it's all inside right you got to pass it down to the another generation just taking a minute i just need a minute <laughs> you're gonna have minute. trump derangement no, syndrome no, no, no. happening right it's now it's boiling it's boiling it's boiling i don't think i can handle it <laughs> by the way they're thinking but and here's here's the good news and bad news yeah i'm kind of sure that trump might just win the re-election you, <laughs> might, you might win it and then his son so it's like it's <laughs> four eight twelve twelve years of trump uh reign possibly right you know, he's currently serving as a trustee and executive vice president for the Trump Organization. Right. Which he got because, you know, his dad is Donald Trump. So why not just, you know, why nepotism not? his way into the White House? They all do. It's not just them. It's, it's been politics for centuries. You know, it makes sense, though, because he has, he is fluent in the new Republican way of whining and dickish grievance <laughs> mongering. Dickish grievance. <laughs> dickish grievance mongering has taken over modern conservatism yes like conservatism say that three times fast. conservatism da, 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 da. i can't well that was two can times. you Might as well go can you guys do it try it look guys here's a question to you and the audience yes because i know a lot of you guys watch at home so yes. go ahead and comment below now's comment your time below. do you think trump jr could win i'll wait we'll wait i'll wait okay wait good comment okay <laughs> uh so wow that's crazy <laughs> Bad news, Bad I'm going to say WTF on that one. Big fat. Do you think he will win, I wonder? Uh, you know. I think it's nepotism and it's politics, and of course, why not? I think he's adorable in the worst way possible. That's like a comment. That's junior? Not a comment. You mean junior? Yeah, junior. Yeah, he's been prepped for this all his life. I don't know. He's been prepped for nothing. <laughs> prepped for not wiping his own ass with hundred dollar bills. Oh my god! Not a fan. Not a fan. I'm not gonna lie to you, people. All right, fine. So that was top story one. Okay. That's some bad news. Yeah, okay, do have to. But you know, uh, to lighten things up. Yeah. And to get us the heck away from the Donald Trump situation, let's get out of that. Uh, I want to introduce you oh, yeah. guys to our um, returning investigative reporter. We're mm -hmm. very excited to have her back here today. I believe she's going to be talking about something going with the environment, which yes. is one of the topics that is dearest to my yeah, heart. And away, it's far away from politics. Yeah, you know, why talk politics when you can talk about the weather? Environment. Please welcome <laughs> to the Monkey News Source, Dolly Arak. Dolly, thank you for joining us. Hi, Hi. welcome. Nice to see you. Nice to see you all. Thanks y'all so much for having me. Now, yeah, Dolly, uh, you, you are a returning correspondent that we actually haven't seen in quite some while, but yeah. we're, we're so excited to have you back. Um, we sent you out on a special investigation. So, uh, you know, go ahead and tell us what What's going on with the oil industry these days? Well, what on earth is going on in Brazil? Uh, first, we hear that President Bolsonaro signed over rights to the rainforest to deforesters. Now, I don't know whether they're going to raise beef cattle or sell the lumbers to loggers or Lord knows what, but I can pretty much guarantee you that those deforesters are going to be land destroyers. 
And just as we're getting all worked up over that, we get word that the gosh darn Amazon is up in flames. And it's serious this time. Even Leonardo DiCaprio can't fix it. And never mind how much corruption Brazil's state-run oil company, Petrobras, gets itself involved in. When it comes to oil, politics in Sao Paulo are greasy. And I get it. I don't blame them. I'm from Texas, and I know oil is dang lucrative. And as the world's 11th largest oil exporter, Brazil's coast is practically lined with oil rigs. Innocent enough, right? Wrong. Come to find out, thousands of people are on Brazil's beaches right now. Why? It's not for sunning and sanding. Turns out they're cleaning up what? You guessed it, a massive oil spill. And you mean to tell me that you have no idea where this oil spill came from? Think it could be the offshore oil rigs? Hmm, what a mystery. And now, Brazil's beaches are covered with tar and oil. And that's a pretty bad thing, because what's Brazil known for other than beaches? <laughs> Environmental catastrophes, I guess. And President Bolsonaro, bless your heart, you're missing the rainforest for the trees. President Bolsonaro, don't you care about your countries tomorrow? And don't you know that deforestation leads the nation to frustration? As my great aunt Bev always said, deforestation is the last train from the station. You're ruining the nation. This location's becoming a wasteland. Logging in the Amazon cannot go on. It's time to get yourself back on track and clean up your act. Sure enough, with the Lord as my witness, get out of the oil business. Nice. Yeah. Dolly. That was so awesome. Yeah, I agree. Amen to that. Amen, sister. Amen. Good reporting, Dolly. Good reporting on the on the behalf of Dolly. Yeah, like, it's, that's ridiculous. How, why are they still doing that? They, it's fossil fuels. Like, come on, like, why can't they just go to electric? Like, right. And just, like, it's all, ar it's, like, archaic. Well, see, I, I know this seems a little off topic, but the reason I'm so upset about the Brazil situation is they used to be famous for, you know, Bikinis. Be the beaches. Like she Bikinis. said. Like she said, the beaches. What happened to the national export of Brazil? Yep. It's a problem. Nuts and bikinis. It's a real problem, a real sure problem. enough. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, Dolly, let, let me ask you, in, in your reporting, did you actually get to talk to Leonardo DiCaprio? Because that would be... I did, but bizarre. unfortunately, we've got no proof or a record of that, so he sends his best. Oh, that's great. Yeah. He's, oh, good, good. Yeah, I love that he's supporting and getting celebrities to back big, uh, you know, environmental, you know, things. It's important to get this, the word out there. Sure enough. And I really like sure that. Sure enough. That you guys, you kind of get, you, you, you um, what's the word? You're doing your part for the world. I Thank you. That. I appreciate that. Now, I'm Dolly, just this, trying this my is, best. This must be hard, and if I could ask you a personal question, being from, you're from Texas, right? That's right, sure um, enough. How hard is it being so outspoken in your family against the oil industry? Well, I wouldn't say I'm outspoken, but um, you know, when it comes to uh, problems, particularly oceans, oil spills ain't even the half of it. Turns out, and I don't know about you, but I really trust statistics, and turns out, that approximately eight to ten, to, excuse me, eight to ten million tons of plastics oh, wow. end up in the ocean Gee, every year. That, that is, a is a lot. And and and, wow. and coincidentally, I, I understand the ocean floating plastic situation is about the size of Texas. That's so. probably even underestimated. <laughs> it's, it's a shame because it really ruins the um, the animals in the ocean. It really disrupts their environment. It's now, a real shame, I yeah, tell you. We here at Monkey News Source support the environment, and we appreciate your reporting. Now, I understand, Dolly, you have a correspondent that you sent to one of the oil companies to talk to them directly. If you wouldn't mind, uh, go ahead and tell us uh, who we're throwing to next. That's right. Uh, I have a twin sister. It's very similar to that story you heard on Parent Trap. She was actually raised in a completely different part of the world. Uh, and she went to talk to the president of a company called Sturbridge International, the head of plastic pollution himself. So, let's see what he had to say for himself. 
So joining me in the studio today is Sturbridge Peters, Chief Executive Officer of Sturbridge International. He also serves on the board of Fossil Fuel Spills and Company, Toxic Runoff Corp, and is Chairman of the board of Deforesters Inc. He has a background in lobbying for tax breaks and diverting public funds away from the Environmental Protection Agency. So Sturbridge, that's rather a mouthful, isn't it? Steve, may I call you Steve? I'd prefer if you did not. Fantastic, Steve. Thanks for being here. Uh, we've been hearing a lot lately of uh, the move away from single-use plastics. Do you feel that this is due to the havoc they wreak on the environment or the toxic chemicals they leach into the bloodstreams of our children? Well, Rachel, right the science real, really isn't out on that just yet, so. it, it is. In fact, scientists as far back as the 1930s were aware that plastics pose serious risks to reproductive health and shortly thereafter classified them as endocrine disruptors which muck up the hormones of men and women alike. An outcry in 2008 when it was discovered that BP PA experts hired by the FDA who were actually plastic manufacturers led to a complete ban of the substance in children's bottles. I'm sorry, you, you lost me at... Uh, uh. Yes, um, it doesn't help you sleep at night knowing that researchers at the National Institutes of Health have linked components and chemicals in plastics, for instance, those frequently added to make polyethylenes and the like more malleable, to a variety of human health problems. Mm, yes, of course. Allow me to pontificate for a moment, Director Al, if I may. Please do. Independent studies show that the plastic bags are environmentally preferable for safer. Other students that, um, you know, when they reuse the bags, are preferable to reusable plastics or cloth sacks, and many people mm, seem to be quite popular and fancy about using around town. And truth be told, Rattel, we're just running a company. I'm sure you are. Let's get right to what all of you are dying to know. When did Sturbridge International become aware that BPS or bisphenol S, which is the replacement chemical contained in BPA-free plastic, is equally if not more harmful than the BPA was used to replace? In fact, researchers in the chemical industry called it, and I quote, a regrettable substitute. <laughs> well, wait a uh, what, what I find regrettable is, mm, mm, is, is, is quite adorable, actually. <laughs> Mm. I mean, that retort is quite inconclusive. It's not. BPA, although still in food packaging in bloodstreams of Americans, has been banned in Canada, the European Union and even China due to the known risks of BPAs and S's in obesity, infertility, cancers and neurological disorders. Oh, well, while you be in your peer your A, allow me to put your mind at ease and rest assured that there are measures in place to prevent that kind of thing from getting greater and more worse. There are many incentives Incentivization programs in play for recycling in the industry. This is a long term solution, and we are at the start of a long journey towards that end. That's fantastic. Isn't it, though? Absolutely fantastic. Mm. The plastics industry was worth nearly $1.2 trillion in 2018. What percentage of this valuation was attributable to the profits earned from the portion of plastics that have been found inside the bellies of sea turtles? Mm, well, <laughs> Sea turtles, uh, they are delicious in <laughs> soups. Right, there you have it, folks. As our friend Stephen has shared, plastic contributes to a substantial portion of environmental degradation and has deleterious effects on human health. You can opt out by saying no to single-use plastics and by saying no to big plastics, reckless disregard for public health. I'm afraid that's all the time we have. Thank you, Stephen, so much for joining us. Mm. It was an absolute pleasure. The pleasure is mostly all yours. Rachel. Yes, indeed. Thank Mwah. you, Richard. Thank you. Hi, I'm Bob Blankenship from Bob's Ball Emporium. It's summertime, which means it's sports time. And if you don't got the balls that you need, you gotta come to me. Because me, Bob Blankenship, I got balls. I got balls. I got blue balls. Basket. Big basket. I got huge balls. What the hell's this? Hey, Tim. Timmy. What is this? Come on. It's supposed to be balls, buddy. Come on. Come on. You know what's going on. Jesus Christ. Balls. What's the one thing you can't do in the summer without balls? Enjoy yourself. Go get some balls today. 
you make sure you get on down to Bob Ball Emporium, grab my balls, and have yourself a good summer. Basket. Foot. Blue balls. Huge. Don't be a coward. Come down to Bob's Ball Emporium and get yourself some balls. If you ain't got balls, you need to see Bob. Wink. <laughs> I said wink is a sound effect. People always ask me, Bob, why should I come to Bob Franklin Chips Ball Emporium to get my balls? Well, I'll tell you something. My balls, they're not droopy. They're not soggy. They're not wet. They're not going to slip out of your hand. My balls, they fit nice in your hands. You grab onto my balls, and you're not going to want to let go of them till the end of the summer. We are knee deep in balls. Come on down to my emporium. I hope you're not feeling this, but just for the hell of it, I'm going to grab my own balls. <laughs> you can't get those at the store. Those are for my wife. Those are for Gloria. Hey, let's face facts. Not everybody's got the balls I got, so I'm just going to come out and say it. Come on down to Bob Like It Just Ball Emporium and get yourself some balls, will ya? Come on down and get some balls! Ah, god damn it! Okay, Bob? I guess I deserve that. Gotta take a ball to the head every now and then, you know? Yeah, Bob. It's summer, right? Come say hi, 49 East State Street, Trenton, New Jersey, off the Southern Parkway. One. Yeah. Hey, Good. yeah, there it is. How you doing? Hey, what's going on? It's me, Vinny. Me, Tina Marie. Tina Marie. Might, might, might not recognize this. Wait, why you gotta say my name? Huh? You say Tina Marie. Like, I say my name. All right, well, because I'm trying to get the point. People might not recognize this. Hey, I'm we're Dora in the Explorer. We're in costume. Yeah, it's me. Happy Halloween, everybody. It's me, Bernie Sanders. The not next president of the United States of America. Not, how you know? He could win. Because I, I gotta be a guy, and I'm gonna get a thing with a bagel. Okay, that's my Bernie Sanders invitation. Look at my map. I'm Dora. I'm exploring. Oh, look at you. Look at you. You got the map. My map's going crazy. You got the map. It we has got a, a special guest. Yeah, and we got a special guest with us tonight. Don't forget that. This is this is Tina Marie's cousin. You introduced My cousin, her. Rachel. What's up? What's, What's up, up yeah. Rachel? Thank Check you for having out. me. She's the best. You guys are going to love Rachel. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because, you know, and Rachel, what costume are you? I'm a swiper. Yeah, swiper, because I'm Dora. I'm Dora's sidekick. Yeah. All right, yeah, you cousin. guys get in the same shot. Get in the same shot. It's swiper. That. Hey, swiper. No, all the way. Push no, over hold more. On. Push hey, over swiper, more. Stop yeah. swiping. Stop swiping. It's not swiping. <laughs> She's going to steal my map. <laughs> hey, swiper. <laughs> what did I say? No swiping, swiper. swiper. <laughs> Come on, it's like so weird. She doesn't even listen no, to instructions. No, she's the best. No, she's not. She's my cousin. Swipe Leave her alone. Think it's gotta swipe go like reality, Leave her alone. Swipe in reality has like oh. a, a obsessive compulsion with stealing stuff all the time. Yeah. All right. So anyway, we're here to do a candy review for you guys. Wait, you said too fast. A candy review. Ba Boom. Candy review. It yeah. sounds delicious. There's some good ones. There's a good list, and then there's a bad list. Yeah. So we're gonna go over. Not long. The, not long. The, these these are the top ten worst candies to give to Halloween, and then we'll do the best ones yeah. in a second. Yeah. All right, so here we go. Top number one worst candy to give people, circus peanuts. Circus peanuts. That's you know like my grandma are? would give me. Remember grandma? Ugh. Oh, she those? gave those things to me all the time. Yeah, I'm those pretty things. sure she just got them off airplanes. Yeah, for yeah, real. Those things are disgusting. When my aunt used to give them to me, I would be like, what's wrong with you? And then i throw them at her face. You did not throw it at her face. Nah, nah, in like I theory, would. not that's, in reality. That's rude. Not in reality. It's rude to give peanuts. No, it's rude to Because I'd be like, come on, what's wrong with you? And I'd be like, get the candy out of my right, face. Next Give me some one. More candy. Next one. Next candy oh, corn. You know, I don't know why it's on. on the list. That's not my favorite. That's my favorite. I don't know why it's on the list. It's one of the best candies ever. Do you like candy corn? I love candy corn. It's so much better than corn. I know. Yeah. And can I give you guys a quick hint? Can I get my close up for a second? Keith, can I get my close up? Let me tell you something. Candy corn? Can I, come on, come on. Candy corn? It's not really made out of corn. Look, my map is not so happy. All right, it's not really made out of corn. Or as Bernie Sanders would say, the top. 99% of it is not corn. Okay. Look at so my anyway, it's still genetically modified. Here's the map. All right. Candy number three yes. that you don't give anybody is these oh, things. Remember these I things? These wax that, bottles. When I was little, I, I drank this on an empty stomach and I fainted. Too much sugar of love it was in my body and I fainted. Yeah. Not good. Not good. Disgusting. disgusting. Why would you do that? Disgusting. Why do you do that? Now this one, I, this one, the, the, the jury's out on this one because I kind of like these. The Necker wafers. No, no, no. It's like eating chalk. Remember Necker wafers? Why would you eat chalk? Because they were flavored with chalk. Or well, it was like you put, I used to put it in my mouth, but then I was like, it's a holy um, wafer, you know? Yeah, oh, Rachel knows about that. Taking the yeah, I know all Rachel about that. About that. Yeah. Yeah. I used mm -hmm. to pretend that. Rachel, we all know. I know all about we that. I was communionized seven times. Yeah. Actually. With Necker yeah. wafers. Nickel She's wafers. a good Catholic girl. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I am. Yeah. All right, next one. Next one. Next one. Where is it? <gasps> peanut butter kisses. I never heard of that one. Oh, yeah, peanut butter kisses. Look at you. You look like Bernie Sanders with the eyeglasses at the tip. Peanut butter, peanut butter kisses. Nice tip. These I never had. 
They look disgusting. You give it to Barf. me, I'm gonna throw it in your face! Barf. Peanut butter kisses? These days, I don't know, why do people still sell this? What the hell is going on? Yeah, what's wrong with you is guys? Is this like a chocolate Don't you have kiss? like an updated it's like a CBS? That was confused kiss. about its identity? Yeah, it's got confused. Right, next one. I don't know why it's on the list, but these bad oh, boys. Oh, that's my favorite. Tootsie Rolls. That's Tina Marie's favorite that's ever since favorite. she was a little. Oh, yeah? She knows, she yeah. knows. Yeah, here, I want to give you that for Halloween. Oh my goodness. Trick or treat. Thank trick or treat, smell my feet. I gave her something good to eat. What if I wanted a trick? Hey, you know what? Beggars can't be choosers, all right? Fine. Okay, here you go. This is my favorite. Next one, Smarties. Smarties. Nah. FYI. Stupidest. Yeah. That's what I was, that's good there you one. Go. Good one. Stupidest. Stupidest. That's what I'm talking stupidest. about. Stupidest. All right, next one. Licorice. Oh, the black, black one? Black licorice. Ugh, Not it's like this giving, stuff. It's like giving a kid, like, go F yourself. It's like vomit. Yeah. This stuff will knock your socks off. Yeah. That stuff will make you puke. All oh, the pink ones are good. The red ones? Yo, Strawberry. Why are, you why are you eating it like you're a rabbit? Because if I eat it, he I make so juice. Good. I make the juices, and the juices come out looks like blood. Happy Halloween. Can you not do that? Happy Halloween. Here, spit on uh, this. Make, it make more blood. No, mm. uh, punch me in the face. Mm. Wait, you're supposed to move. Oh, uh, uh, it doesn't come out oh. red. Ew, it I thought it was going to come out red. Red candy. I thought it would make Wait, like when, when stage blood. When someone punches, you're supposed to move. A stage uh, uh, combat. Stage yeah, combat 101. Ready? Oh, what the fuck wrong you? Oh, I actually did punch you. Forget it. This guy's not working. You hit me in the first place. Are you okay, Vinny? No, I'm fine. Don't worry about me. Look at you. You're a hot mess. You're a hot mess. You're a hot mess. Last bad one. Skip ahead to Mary Jane. Ew. Good play. Nobody cares. It's disgusting. It's like little like pills. Skip, there you go. That's a good one. Mary Jane. Ugh, that's disgusting. It reminds like it. me of Mary Jane. Mary Jane, she's a hoa. hoa. Guess what happens if you give me Mary Jane? What I'm throw your face. All right. Yes. Let's get to the good stuff. Good candy number one. Wait, Mary Jane? Why do they name Mary Jane after Mary Jane? I don't know. Because the guy who made it, his name is Mary, right? Yeah. Whatever. Okay, Reese's. Is it, this is the top. Be this is the best candy? Is oh this my a, God. Is this a good candy? Top. Candy. Oh my God, Number I love one. Reese's. Now we're talking. Look at this, look, look. Look at how small it is. But peanut made. allergies, you guys gotta put one of those, uh, what is it, a teal pumpkin outside, right? There's peanut allergies? Yeah. You gotta put one of those teal blue pumpkins so on. people know, oh, I'm allergy friendly house. Yeah, you and if you are like me, you can bring your own allergy friendly, gluten, dairy, and soy free peanut butter cups That's right here. Beautiful. It's unreal. It's to die for. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, you're gonna sick. make me it's sick. It's a peanut allergy. Vinny, what are you doing? I don't wanna make her sick. I don't wanna make her sick. Vinny, you're gonna make her sick. I'm sorry, I won't make her sick. She has a peanut nut free and here you are dangling right. real oh nuts. Oh my God. You're dangling. I can't read my it's script amazing. this too long. Hold on, hold on. You're dangling real nuts in her face. Right, I don't wanna okay? dangle my nuts Stop in her face. Stop dangling your nuts in her face. I don't wanna dangle my nuts in Rachel's face. Cause she'll get allergies. I don't wanna get allergies in my nuts. I'll get sick, I'll get completely sick. Yeah, she'll get sick with my nuts in her face. Would you stop with the nuts in her face? Hey Rachel. Look out, I'm gonna put my nuts in your face. Not your nuts, Don't I'm gonna vomit. Sick. I'm gonna vomit, vomit. right like, on your nuts. Ew. Uh, 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 Alright, Bernie. Uh, look yeah. at me! The top 1% allergic to my nuts! <laughs> okay, Bernie, nut. Good for me. Nut sandals. Pretty in character. Look at this guy. Okay, you're gross. You like seafood? No, I don't. Uh, I'm allergic. I'm seafood? allergic. Uh, I look like Bozo the, like an old Bozo the Clown. You look Very like nice, a, Bernie. A crazy view. Alright, skip ahead. We're running out of time. Yeah, we gotta go. Snickers. Snickers. Oh, the bite oh, size candy. Yeah. To die for. I love it. I love it. Swipe us. Swipe it Snickers. for me. Swipe it. I love Swipe Snickers. It. Swipe it. Can I take this time to remind you? Oh, thanks. If you dare give anybody no. apples. Yeah, look, no, my. A bag of apples for Halloween. Be like, hey, happy Halloween. A bag of apples. Let's all say it together. Guess what I'm gonna do with those apples? If you give me apples for Halloween. You're gonna I'll throw, throw them in your in face. The face. There you but go. they're full of antioxidants. And vitamin C. All right, yeah, you got a good point. Kit Kat, number three. There yeah. you go, check it Kit out. Kat, oh, give me a break. Give me a break. Give, give me a break. Break, break me off, off a piece of that, that Kit Kat, Kat bag. Oh, I'm going in, I'm going in. Oh, you're getting the kit. Oh. You know I want to get that. <laughs> oh. oh, yum. Give me that break, yeah, that's what I'm talking Kinda about. Kind of looks like and a if you thing. like, if you like my aunt, she likes all of these like non-sugars, gluten-free stuff. Yeah. She gives out these like made good her. bars. Yeah. These are like so good. So, I know you don't like it, but this is healthy. This is a healthy Rice Krispie Treat. You got these like fruit leathers. These are healthy. Oh my God, I love those. I love fruit leathers and they're healthy. There's all fruit. There's so no much sugar. better than leather. So Yeah, so much better. You eat leather? Oh, fruit leather. I get Pop it. Red You're leather, funny. yellow You're leather. Funny. All right, here we go. Yeah. Kit Kat, we got Kit Kat. What's the next on the list? Oh wait, we're getting the best ones. m ms hit it. m ms what, what? Boom, oh. check them out, I'm holding m ms Hey, it matches oh. you. Oh, a blue. A blue. A blue. Look at that door. But you oh, know what? I if you eat the guy. green ones when I was little, that means you hit a home run. You know, yeah. you go all the way. Don't go be allergic to nuts at the, that point. Yeah, okay. you eat the green ones, you go home home run, like, you know, and on the bases. How old were you when you realized they all taste the same? They, 
What? Ye yesterday. Like now old? Now years now old? Now years old. Like now years old. <laughs> yeah, what no. are you talking about? The green ones taste different than the blue ones. It was a very big disappointment. How about you? How old were you? 39. Oh my god. Look at you, see? We're all late bloomers on the realization yeah. that all the M&M's taste Look exactly how, identical. I have this gum. Who knew? I'll eat this later. Who knew? All right, this one. This is my picture. I picked this one out. Nerds. What nerds? Check oh, it out. What nerds. A nerd. Sexy nerds. Oh. Happy this Halloween. This could have been a kid's show, but thanks to him, he dirtied it up. It's all right. They're wearing the nice costumes. It's like a double entendre because of the nerds, but they're also like got the nerdy glasses, but they're also like sexy But nerds. it's like oxymoron. They're like not even nerds. They're like sex to hold. There you go. Big screen, Keith. You know what I'm talking about. What? Hey, Keith. I like the purple nerds Why you got to make the nerds bigger? I like the purple nerds the best. Yeah, that's what nerds That's really what Diana's like. going to wear for Halloween this year. <laughs> Diana, yeah. All that's, right. Here comes the best one. That's so dirty. You guys are sick. Here comes the best one. Where'd it go? Why you gotta sexify hey, come on, bring Halloween. it in here. Hey, what? come on. Yeah. Oh. Boom, the best candy ever. Oh my God, I love uh -oh. it. Uh oh, oh Butterfingers, get it? Oh, oops. Butterfingers, oh, oh Butterfingers. Oh. oh, get your hands off my Butterfingers. Yeah, that's what I'm talking right. about. You better get on the Butterfingers. Let me take some of Butterfingers. Number one candy ever. It's like my number five. Nah, it's the best. My number five. Best. You're gonna eat all the merchandise. Look this at you. Like, this is a crunch. Wait, what happened? You this is a crunch. What's the ASMR in the the Butterfinger M A S M R? Okay, that's a whole nother segment. So we're gonna wrap up what, what, one no, last what, one last thing. What, what's your all time favorite? And then then we'll end it. What's all right, ready, Butterfingers. Um, Rachel, what's your favorite? Wait, no, hold on. Mine's oh, to, mine's Tootsie Roll. Mine is obviously this gluten dairy and soy free chocolate bar. As all you right. see, there's many options this year to go out. You you purchase like a bag full of junk, or you go to Whole Foods. Like us. Or you can feel yeah. great about yourself. Or you can do me a favor and not give me any good stuff, all right? It's Halloween. Give me great. One, one day a year, I can eat whatever I want to eat, all right? Be safe. You know, check your candy. And, watch uh, out for razor blades. Watch out for razor, watch blades. Out for razor blades. And don't and, dress uh, too sexy. And happy Halloween. We'll see you next year. Be safe out there. All right. Peace. Bye. That was such a great show. Uh, I just love candy. I had too much candy. <laughs> He's I had too many Tizzy Rolls. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. <laughs> Don't puke, dude. Happy Halloween to you guys. Make sure you have a good, happy, safe one out there. Yes, and if you missed any part of this show, all you have to do is go on demand on our YouTube channel. It's youtube.com backslash the Josh and Tamara show. And if you want to watch us on the television, you can do so at the Manhattan <laughs> Neighborhood Network in New York French City. very French of you. Yeah. very French. You can also young. watch us at Rye TV and on the White Plains Media Facility. Yes. So thanks for everyone here at the station. Station. Have and, a great night. And happy Halloween. Have a good night. Good night, America. <clears throat> Hi there, I'm Stanley Sleaze, here to talk about my new product, the Exsanguinator. Now over here, I've got my, my little guinea pig here, Kevin. Hi. Hello. Hi, Kevin. This Hi. is a guinea pig. Now, nice to meet you, Kevin. Now, Kevin here is going to get exsanguinated. You know what that means, Kevin? I thought this was a tea commercial. Oh, you naive little boy. Oh, no, you're in for quite a treat. Now, listen, the, to exsanguinate is to void something or someone mm -hmm. of all their liquids. Now, this product, the exsanguinator over here, exsanguinator, come on, do your stuff. <laughs> exsanguinator. Hi. Now, yes. Hello. Now, this Hi. is the exsanguinator. He is going to void you of your liquid. Okay, I don't need any flick I don't have any liquid. You, oh, you have to don't. void me. You don't, do you? What? Look over this here, is Kevin. supposed to be a tea commercial. Kevin, look over here. Uh, oh, Kevin. Uh, oh, Kevin. Uh, look at you. Now you're dead. Uh, this is Louis Vuitton. Uh, uh, okay, uh, you stop it. Uh, uh, you see that? Uh, 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 now it hurts. Ow! Uh, 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 get it off me! As you can see, uh, that man there has been spilled on, and that, and that spill has now been exsanguinated. I use the exsanguinator, and look, there's no more stains on my nice Louis Vuitton cardigan. That can be you, one day. Buy my product. Oh well, the stain's gone. See, there it is. I'm gonna be in contact with my lawyer. Ooh. Oh dear. Come exsanguinator, come with me. I'll, I'll go that way, let's go that way. Yep. Call now! Ow! Ow! Ow!